One of the things that makes the NEO2 so powerful as a light system is not just its continuous light power, but its flash capabilities. The flash can be up to 500% brighter than the continuous light source, and this makes it an amazing resource for photographers, not just videographers. And there's a couple other additional things that you need to know about the flash. Now, you can just use your regular PC sync cable or a variety of transmitters and receivers that will pair with this device, but they've teamed up with Elenchrome to bring you some really special added features. So if you have an Elenchrome Skyport or HS Skyport uh, transmitter, they've got the receiver built into this light and it gives you the ability to do some high sync and high speed sync um, photography. So up to one eight thousandth of a second in your shutter speed, as well as you can remotely control up to 10 lights in four different groups and control the color temperature and the power output all remotely from your HS Skyport. Uh, we're going to get into that. We're going to show you how to set up that HS Skyport, but first I want to take you through the basic flash settings. So if you're using just a basic PC sync cable or you're using a variety of different transmitters and receivers with this light, it's a pretty simple process. So we'll get into that right now. To do basic flash photography with the Rotolite Neo is super simple and rather inexpensive. All you need is a PC sync cable and one end will go into your camera. I am using a 5D Mark IV here and then the other end will go into the PC sync spot right on the Rotolite Neo. Now there are a couple other options. If you have a transmitter receiver, there's a variety of them that are compatible with this light system. You just have to check on Rotolite's uh, site for a list of uh, compatible transmitters and receivers. As well as if you do not have this little spot on your camera, uh, Rotolite sells a great device. It's really inexpensive and it communicates through your hot shoe and then that will go into the PC sync port. So first things first, we are make sure that our camera is on. We are going to spark our light let the light turn on. Um, if you haven't seen our introductory video that runs us through the full menu system of this light, uh, make sure to check that. The link is in the description below. But we're going to go right into the menu and as we know if from that video is we double press the two and that gets us into the menu. It immediately spits you into the flash setting. Now if you see the word flash, you are not in flash mode. What you have to do is you have to press the button uh, the, the left hand button and that will get you into flash mode. You will be presented with your shutter speed so it goes as high as 1 1,000th of a second and I can dial that all the way down to 1 50th of a second. There's a few other things I can do. I can control the color temperature by pressing and rotating at the same time the left button. So you can see my color temperature here change. Uh, around 47, 4800 is the best spot for it to be perfectly honest because that's where you get the most light output considering that it is a bi-color light. So all the LEDs are firing. Um, you can also change the modeling light with that left-handed uh, dial. So the left-handed dial will just change the modeling light, not the overall power. If you need to change the power, you do that through this left one. And you do that by pressing it, and now I'm at max, and then I can dial down the uh, overall power of the light. So simply, I'm at 1 100th here. Uh, I make sure that I go into my camera settings and that my camera settings are set to flash. All cameras are going to be different, so hopefully you know your camera well. Uh, we've already done that, and I'm going to set my shutter speed to be compatible with the shutter speed here. So they're both at 1 100th, and I'm going to fire off. Bam. Works great. Uh, I'm going to dial up to 1 1,000th, and I'm going to do the same on my camera. 1 1,000th. Bam. Super fast. The recycle time is zero, which makes this really great for um, you know, high frame rate photography. So as you can see here, I just fire it off, bam, and zero recycle time. Uh, you're basically just limited to what your camera can do, but not what the light can do, which is amazing. Uh, so that's basically it. That's super, super simple. You just adjust here. Obviously, this is not a TTL product, so you're going to have to take a test shot and then adjust accordingly based on your test shots, but it's a pretty simple flash system to use. The next thing we want to show you is how the Elenchrome HS Skyport allows you to get high speed sync, how to set that up, and all the other features that come along with that product. So let's get into that right now. All right, so moving on now to working with the Elenchrome HS Skyport transmitter. Now, the great thing about this is that that's all you need is the transmitter. You don't need to buy a receiver. And you take that transmitter and you just simply place it on the hot shoe of your camera. Slide that in and we are ready to go. Now, there is a bit of an order of operations. If you do it a little bit out of order, it may not connect to the light fixture. So the first thing you want to do is turn on the light itself. Once that is turned on, you can now go ahead and turn on your transmitter and we're going to let that transmitter boot up and then finally you're going to turn on your camera and you're ready to go. Now there are some settings that you need to take care of 
in the light fixture itself and some settings you need to take care of in the transmitter, but we'll do the settings on the light first. So going in, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our menu system. That again is going to take us into our flash settings. But what I want to do is I want to bust over to trigger. I want to tell it that our trigger is the Skyport. So that's two buttons. Once we've selected Skyport as our trigger, we are going to back out and we are going to bus over back to flash and we're going to click that and make sure that our flash settings are on 1 50th of a shutter speed. If you set it to anything else, it is not going to work. 1 50th is a way for it to tell to work with the transmitter. So now we can just leave it simply as that. Moving on to our transmitter, we're going to do a couple things. We've got to take care of a few things. First off is it needs to find this device. Now, it could automatically find it. If it doesn't, you can go into a scan mode and it will scan for all sort of receivers in the area and it will find this device. Once it's paired, you need to go into your setup menu. And I've already done this, but I'm going to show you what you're looking for. Is I'm going to go down to our ELSP mode and I'm going to find speed. There's two options, there's speed and there's normal. So we want speed. And then we are going to go down below that under sync mode and we want to select HS. There are some other modes that available here. There's some sort of arrow thing, uh, which I don't understand and they're standard, uh, but we want HS. So that's all we really care about and we can exit out of that. So once we have it set up and it's paired, we can do some other adjustments from the transmitter. First of course is just your modeling light. So your modeling light is just through this power setting. It's automatically there. I can turn that up and down as I need to. Uh, then I can move over to this MOD function. And when I click the MOD function, uh, it will adjust my overall power. So my flash's actual power. I just need to click the MOD function one more time and it's going to change to a little mod plus minus symbol. And that's going to allow us to adjust our color temperature. And if you remember from earlier, having it set around 4700 degrees Kelvin is sort of ideal, um, 47, 4800 for max amount of power. And now just to remind you that it's not a TTL system, so we still do have to make a test shot and then adjust accordingly with that test shot. But I just want to show you that I can go, uh, there's one one hundredth of a second and we fire off really nicely. I can go up to one one thousandth of a second as we did before. So there's one one thousandth and it's firing really nice. And then I can go up to our high speed sync all the way to one eight thousandth and it's firing. The same holds true when I go into my drive mode here for our high frame rates and we're shooting at one eight thousandth of a second with zero refresh time. So before I wrap up I do want to show you the flash functionality of the three light kit and to do that I'm going to get my good friend Paul in here to model for us and we're going to try a few things and show you both the basic flash and high speed sync and some of the creative things that we can do just with these three lights. And then uh, like look down Okay, so that's pretty much it. Whether you are shooting in standard flash mode or in the high sync mode that is available through the Allen Chrome HS Sky port, both systems are super fast and easy to set up and you will be shooting in a matter of minutes. Now, of course, if you want to pair the lights or group them, there are some details on Rotolite's website. If you download the manual, we'll tell you about how to do all of that. But this is the simplest way to uh, just get it up and shooting. So that's it. Thanks for watching and happy shooting.